Hey guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'm going to teach you how you can easily create dust and different texture overlays in Adobe After Effects. I just released a free overlay pack that you can download on my website right now. It'll be in the description. And basically people wanted to know how I made this in After Effects. A lot of people don't have a Super 8 camera or a VHS camera, so it's very hard to develop authentic looking overlays. So I thought I'd show you guys how. So if you guys enjoy, make sure to hit the thumbs up button and let's get straight into it. So I'm gonna create a new composition right here. You wanna make the frame rate 24 FPS so it seems more organic. So I'm gonna press okay here. Um, essentially what we're gonna do is we're just gonna use one plugin called Fractal Noise and it's it's a built-in plugin. You don't have to download anything. And we're just gonna alter some settings to create different effects. So you wanna right click, press new solid and you wanna make it black. You wanna drag on Fractal Noise. We're just gonna adjust with the contrast right now and we're gonna increase it until there's a clear black and white on the solid layer. And you wanna decrease the brightness until you just see white particles. So these little particles are gonna be the dust. So if you want the dust to be smaller, it's gonna be a lower brightness. If you want it to be bigger, you just increase it. You can also see what increasing the contrast even more does. Um, so just mess around with the contrast and brightness. You can also mess around with the scale how big you want the textures to be and stuff like that. So I'm gonna stick around with this. Um, essentially now you want it to actually move. So all you do for that is you want to go to evolution options and random seed. And you wanna hold alt and click on the time stopwatch. And you want to basically type in this expression time asterisk like 250, 200, depends how fast you want it to be. I'm gonna do 250. This one's really fast. So you can do that. I'm gonna do like 175 maybe. So something like that. So I'm gonna make it a little bit more subtle. Something like this would be good. And that's essentially it for the tutorial. What I would do though, is maybe apply some noise or something on top of this um, sequence right here. So you can right click, pre-compose it, move all the attributes, and then maybe add noise on top of it so that there's more texture to it. You can even see some of the bad TV effects and maybe apply it. Um, to add more of the texture, like wave warps and stuff like that. But um, these effects are better for VHS overlays, which I'll cover in a different video. So you guys can see how to do that. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the thumbs up button. My name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.